So with our Bozeman forcep already being in a ready to use position, the nurse or surgical technician can open the pill pack and the doctor can grab the forceps directly from the pill pack and use it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Still Lives My Life. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave any comments or questions that you may have in the comment section down below. You also may want to hit the bell notification button. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. <laughs> So I'm back today with another voiceover. I felt like it was pretty important for me to do this tutorial because I ran into an issue in the department. And it's a common mistake. It's easy to make when you're new coming into the field. So if you're new going into the field, you'll already have this tip in your pocket. I'm just showing you the different types of tip protectors you can use. So I'm going to walk you through how I pill pack a cannulated instrument. I have a few things in front of me as you can see. I have different kinds of tip protectors, an integrator, the pill pack of course, and then I have an instrument protector. For this cannulated instrument, I am going to use the instrument protector. I am going to use the instrument protector because it protects the instrument and it has a tip protector at the end of it. I will then place my integrator and my instrument into the pill pack with the instrument face side up. That way the OR can see the instrument that they are grabbing. Here I'm going to pre-fill to create that crease, remove the paper, and then close, making sure the seal is smooth. Now I wanna get into the best practice when you are pill packing your surgical instruments. So right here I have a Bozeman forcep, which I am inspecting. So in front of me, again, I have just some supplies. I have an instrument protector, some tip protectors, and my integrators. This time I'm gonna use my tip protectors to put place on the end of my forcep. This tip protector will reduce the chances of the forcep puncturing through the pill pack as well as it will keep the ratchets open. So here I'm just grabbing my integrator to place inside of my pill pack. I like to do this first. It's a great habit that you should develop as a store processing technician, especially when it comes to assembling your tray sets. So here I'm just showing you that when I place the forceps inside of the pill pack, the handles will be towards the house of the pill pack. This is the side of the pill pack that the surgical technicians and the nurses will open to retrieve the instrument. For purposes of being on the same page, we're going to call that the top of our pill pack. So before I get into sealing this pill pack, I just want to tell you why it's the best practice to make sure that your handles are towards the top of the pill pack. A pill pack instrument will be opened into a sterile field. Nine times out of 10, the instrument will be opened and handed directly to the doctor for use. A great rule of thumb to remember when it comes to pill packing your instruments is that we want to reduce the amount of contact made by anyone to the part of the instrument that will directly enter or come into contact with the patient's body cavity. So with our Bozeman forcep already being in a ready to use position, the nurse or surgical technician can open the pill pack and the doctor can grab the forceps directly from the pill pack and use it. Next, I pull off the paper. I straighten up and flatten the pill pack by slightly pulling the sides and then I fold. This gives me the best result and no openings inside of my seal. So here I'm just going to run through the same process but with different instruments. Here I have a tenaculum forcep and I'm just going to start by inspecting it for any rust or bio burden. I'm just showing you the tips here and showing you the different types of tip protectors I have. Here I'm going to place two single tip protectors on each end. This keeps the ratchet open and prevents the ratchet from locking. Now 
I'm going to place my integrator inside of my pill pack and then place the tenaculum forcep inside of my pill pack in the ready to use position, which means my handles are towards the house of the pill pack or the top of the pill pack. I like to pre-fold to help my crease, then I'll peel off the paper, flatten and tighten my pill pack, fold and then seal, smooth seal. Now this part is optional. I like to count up all of my instruments that I'm going to pill pack and pre-print out all of my labels. Once I have pill packed all of my instruments, I will then label and put a lot sticker on each pill pack and then load it up onto the sterilization rack. So here I'm just showing you how I pill pack a few more instruments. So please remember when you are pill packing your instruments for the OR, that the instruments are placed in a ready to use position. If your surgical instrument is pill packed in a way to where the nurse or the surgical technician will have to grab anything but the handle, that pill pack has been improperly packaged. From my experience, the OR does not complain much about the way pill packs are packaged and sent upstairs. Most of our complaints are received from the clinics. So I just find it best that pill packs are packaged in a universal method throughout the hospital. I hope that video was helpful to you and made sense to you. Um, if not, or if you have any other questions or concerns about this specific topic or any other topic, please leave your comments and questions in the comment section down below and I will be sure to respond to them as soon as I can. And let me know if you guys like me doing voiceover tutorials or would you prefer to see me up here talking um, and explaining things to you. And let me know what other videos you'd like to see me post on this channel. I'll see you on my next video, bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.